Hello, and welcome to another episode of Talk Toys. Uh, but, as you can see, there's a bit of a difference today, because you can see us as well. This is the first of potentially many, but possibly only one, episode of Talk Toys where you can see us. And that's because what we're talking about today might need a visual aspect, which technically, I guess, Draw Toys is as well. Um, but I am joined today, as you can see on your screen, by both Dan and Tim. Hello. Uh, Hello. And we are going to talk about something I think we can all relate to today and something that's got quite a lot of depth. Um, something that, you know, is close to our hearts and probably your hearts watching at home. And that is mugs. We're discussing our favourite mugs. So, before we get into it though, uh, you know, you might be thinking, well, how do you just flippantly rank a mug? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we're not. We're not. Because not only are these mugs our favourite, but we are sorting them out on a scale of one to five in the following three categories. We have aesthetics, utility, and sentimentality. I'm not holding up any fingers in specific, but you get what I mean. I um, do, don't worry. <laughs> cool, there you go. So, we're ranking these, so, just because, we're ranking these like this so that we get a variety, basically, that, you know, maybe you've got a mug that looks really amazing, it's a little bit awkward to, you know, drink from, or that means a lot to you, but maybe doesn't look that great, you know. Uh, so, before we begin, and to give a dry run of this, we are all going to present our runners-up. So, we've got a top three, but this this is number four. This is the one that almost made it, but for some reason or another, didn't. So, I'm going to present mine first. Is everybody ready? I think so. Are you? Uh, Wait, okay. I thought we were going to do honourable mentions last, so I actually don't have mine. I'm going to go run and get it. I'll be back okay. now. Cool. Well, whilst Tim runs and gets his, um, I'd just worry, like got it, got to it. give a shout out to this <laughs> video sponsor. Uh, no. So, uh, my runner up, and I, it's still in the box because it's been in the box for years and I don't really use it, and that's kind of the reason it's a runner up, is this heat changing Da Vinci Code mug. Now, that is getting cut off by your background ah, blur. There, you go, there, you, go. there you go. There we go. We can so, see it. It is an official Da Vinci Code mug, and when you put boiling water in it, the Mona Lisa appears. Ooh. So um, I bought this years and years ago, uh, obviously when the Da Vinci Code came out. Uh, and yeah, it's just, uh, I've used it like once or twice, but I've kind of kept it in here because I didn't, it's the irony of the mug really, it's like, man, that's such a cool concept, I never want to use it because I don't want it getting damaged. And so I I never see it change colours. Uh, but do there you, you look? Do you like the Mona Lisa painting? It's fine, really. Honestly, the only reason <laughs> I bought this uh, is because I like the concept of it. I know there's loads of colour changing mugs. I think there's a really cool Dragon Ball Z one that made the rounds on all the sort of weird drop shipping uh, adverts on Instagram a few years ago. It's like, oh, look, Goku powers up. And it's like, ah, I'm sure this mug that will cost me £8 from China will definitely look as good as this one. So I did My follow-up question, do you like the Da Vinci Code? <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie. I liked the book. Uh, you know, that's... <laughs> You like yeah. it so much, you got the mug. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. just, I just, these are the questions I want to know. Like, I was I like, mean, oh, are thing. you a fan? Technically speaking, you could. I am going to pull it out of the box quickly. I don't think. Unboxing. This... Oh, oh, dude! I'm glad I did. So on the back, it does say the Da Vinci Code. Underneath oh. the Mona Lisa, it says, "Reveal the truth." No, it says, <laughs> "Seek the truth." Oh, sorry, <laughs> seek the truth. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. called draw toys, not list. No, wait, no. It's called no, wait, can no. I, it's called imminent. No. Can I fun. heat it up with the palm of my hand? No, no. Okay, no. I mean, you can kind of see it anyway. Yeah, you, you can kind of see her. A she's little there. Bit. She's looking. She's seeking. There you the go. Truth. Well, that is mine because I I like this mug, but it's not something I drink out of. Uh, in fear of the permanence of the mug and both life itself. Uh, as we are all only here for a short time. 
Right, on to Dan's one. Dan, what's your runner-up? So, um, my um, runner-up mug is the Natural History Museum mug, which I found in some random um, uh, charity shop uh, many, many years ago, and it's very cool. Um, As you can see, there are dinosaurs all over it. I mean... Dinosaurs. Now, the thing is, right, you guys might be thinking, well, why isn't this in my top three uh, and the run up? And the reason being is the quality over the years has faded uh, at the top. So you can't really see the T-Rex, um, you know, T-Rex. And, you can't... <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's also a bit cracked uh, there as well. So I don't I really use it. I would that also much. say it's kind of a small mug. I, thought, I don't know if that would satisfy my uh, my, my, my coffee cravings. Yeah, I mean, Personally. I mean, yeah, I mean the size of it. Like you, you prefer big, fat, like chunky mugs, mugs with I chunky like mugs. Big. Thick, I like them chunky. Thick <laughs> mugs. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's. I mean. It is lovely. It is nice, um, it is. but unfortunately, it doesn't quite hit the the margin. Well, we've given it a mention though, and that's the main thing. Shout out to the Natural History Museum in London, which we've yes. been to. Tim, would you like to present your runner-up, uh, the not quite made oh, it one? My runner-up is the most impractical mug ever. It's <laughs> it's this giraffe mug. Wow. Where? The the giraffe's neck is what you hold it by, but you can't really get more than unless you've got really small fingers. I don't think mine are particularly big. You can't yeah. actually get like your actual thing around oh, it. Oh, oh yeah. But it's so ridiculously impractical to use. <laughs> Very cute. It mm. does also look like the giraffe is in pain a little bit, like he's wrapping his neck around. Aww. So from there, and it also because of the like, if they put like the feet on, it looks almost like a cauldron. Which oh, I think yeah. it's cool, yeah. Um, but it's it's yeah, it's it's not something that I would casually use to drink tea or coffee. Um, it's big. It's got lots of room, yeah. but um, it's it's more of a ha ha. Look how stupid that mug is, mug. Rather than a I want to drink tea out of it, mug. So yeah, he 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 also looks a little bit angry. Oh, um, oh, um, yeah. So you know, it's got all the makings of. An interesting mug, but it, it it just doesn't hold up practically, so that's why I didn't make my top three. Well, it's it's an honour to see it though, because uh, it wasn't honourable yeah. mention. I mean, I did have to stick my neck out to get it on here. <laughs> hey! Hey! You 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 you'd have had to bend over backwards to make it fit in the top three. Well, forwards. Uh, yes, it wasn't really yes. backwards. Uh, I don't know the flexibility of a giraffe's neck, but I don't think it could. Go well, according to that mug particularly flexible exactly uh right so we are on to our top three now so we are presenting number three first and we'll you know because we're baiting to number one in hopes that uh this will boost the average view time of my videos uh and that's the only reason really to be honest so number three i don't have with me i can't show you but i can show you via picture so that's the main thing I'm leaving. Um, so don't there, show me your mug, and I'm. What's the point of being will, here? There will be pictures with each of these, so don't worry, dear viewer. So, my first mug uh, is something that I realised the other fellas aren't going to be able to see, but they'll be able to see it when it's in the video and the image. You just have to do a really good job of describing it, so we can picture it in our minds. Okay. Well, I have it here. And that is a very cute bunny mug. It's got a cute grey rabbit uh, on on the mug, on a white background. Uh, and for those of you curious at home, the back of it is the same image you're seeing on screen now. Um, so, you're probably wondering, why did I choose this for number three? Well... When you say bunny, is it the one from Zootopia? No, no, no. It's it's not Judy Hopps. Uh, uh, it <laughs> it is a regular, a regular, very cute rabbit. Uh, it's very is brown, it... uh, very grey, grey brown kind of. Uh, looks very fluffy. Very grey brown. Okay. Very grey very brown. Gray brown. That's, I so. That's... <laughs> uh, my choice for this one, actually. So I'm ranking it on. Um, so aesthetics, I think, is like. 
a three out of five. Uh, I'd say it is very cute, you know, but it's not necessarily like noteworthy. It's like, oh, it's got rabbits on. Uh, utility, I think, is like, I, I'd say like a three as well. Maybe a four, actually. It's just, it's a regular mug. It's a regular sized mug. Um, if you've ever drunk liquids from a mug before, shout out to the people who've drunk liquids from a mug before. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty solid there. But sentimentality, I would give it a five. Because uh, both is the fact that this is the mug I use when I visit uh, my dad, when I travel to, like, see family and stuff. So it's it, it's always the kind of like, ah, oh, that's my visiting family mug. Uh, but also because years ago uh, I was bought this because I had pet rabbit at the time, salt and pepper, uh, who are sadly no. no longer with us, otherwise they would have been in this episode. Um, but yeah, kind of reminds me of them, even though they were <laughs> albino Himalayan rabbits, which means they What were do you white. mean when you say they would be in the video? What? Well, they, what? They, they'd, be, what? They'd, be ranking, um, they'd be ranking their mugs as well. Ah, oh, they went, you oh. You know. Becoming to a mug, I drink out of life. Oh, right. right. Oh, no, no. The, the, like taxidermy or something. Basically, we, we'd, <laughs> we'd have had uh, five members here, and each of them would have prevent, uh, presented their favorite. Yeah, members. yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was my number three. Uh, it's just a mug I really like, and you guys will see it if you watch the video. Or if you don't, you'll never see it. So, let your let your we'll mind know. run. We'll never know. Holding his mug, it could be amazing <laughs> or it could be shit. If we don't look, then it could be either. Exactly. Uh, right. So Dan, <sighs> you would like to present your number three. Uh, okay. And it is loading in the background. Well, to get an image ready, but present it on video if you'd like to. Yeah. So my next one is the nineteen seventies style mug, um, and it's quite nice actually. It's got like. It's quite flowery, um, and so if I'm gonna, I'll go through the ranks. So the um, so for in terms of aesthetics, I will say I will give it a, a three. I'm I gonna think drag an image over to the left of the screen here, just for people to see a detailed look at it. Whilst you talk, there we are. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, yeah, you know, uh, aesthetically, it's you know, it's quite basic and simple. Um, and but it is quite nice looking. I will say that. So I give it a, a three. Uh, utility wise, now it's. I think I'm going to give it a one. And and the thing is, I'm, the reason I say that is very like very like if you drop it. I mean, obviously with most mugs, if you drop it, there's a chance it'll thin, but it'll smash. But this one, I feel like, is very brittle. Ah, you know, I see. Um, it's tiny. I'm just going to put it out there. That's a tiny mug. It's a very tiny mug. Um, That's like a um, mouthful of coffee. Yeah, yeah. You, you, um, you'd need either an espresso or uh, or just not I much tend to coffee. Yeah, I t I mean, I tend to use it for like um, like teas at night, you know, like sleepy tea or um, green tea or whatever. And it, but it's quite it's it's quite nice. But that's the thing; it's very small, um, and I, you know, I quite like a bigger mug, but. Hmm. Um, but sentimentality um, is very high, and I give it a five because it belonged to my late granddad, and uh, and uh, it was one of the things I wanted to keep um, from his. And uh, and the thing is, it's, it's very basic and rudimentary, but uh, with this, there's a lot of sen sentimentality with it. And I thought, oh, I'll keep that and uh, use it actually. So otherwise, it would have just gone up in some charity shop or whatever. So I thought I'd map that. So there we are. Very nice. Yeah, it, it it's definitely got that seventies vibe going on as well. I quite like it. Yeah, uh, I agree. Tip. It's very very aesthetically pleasing. So like I'm carrying it. on from the theme of of my uh, runner up, and this is my big giraffe mug. Now, ah. the reason this outdid the other giraffe mug is because this is a lot more um, practical. It is a big boy mug. That is a big boy mug. You can have a big cup of coffee out of there or a big cup of tea or whatever. I am very much attracted to the colours, the little hints of orange, but the main mug itself is just white and plain, so you can see the designs better. Mm -hmm. It also is very sturdy. This is a sturdy mug. I've dropped it before. It's been fun. So this is a big 
bulky boy mug. So I'm going to go with, in terms of aesthetic, now I think it does let itself down a little bit in terms of aesthetics because it is um, it is kind of basic looking and it is just kind of like a, a regular mug and it's not got that much going for it. So mm. I've only given it a one in terms of aesthetics. Utility is a five. This is this is the best one on my list for utility. Ooh, it is okay. the one I go to for a proper proper drink. And then sentimentality, I've just gone for a three because I love giraffes. Um, this is the, actually the only one on my list that I bought for myself. Everything else has been given to me by someone else. So it only gets a three for sentimentality. So its total scoring there is nine, if my maths works out. Um, so yeah, this is my third top mug, I would say. Nice. Well, so far, this has been pretty uh, a, a pretty hectic, um, pretty hectic uh, competition so far. Uh, mm-hmm. And obviously, in uh, in the comments below, because I'm desperate for interactions, let me know what your favourite third place mug was. Uh, right. Okay. Well, it's time to get on to the second, my second favourite mug. Oh. Uh, so. This one, um, I've kind of unintentionally min-maxed, sort of... Well, actually, no, I don't think so. But the, there's a few here that kind of, you know, cover the different categories. So, I'm going to full screen myself here. So, my second one is, and this may this may seem familiar to some of you, is my Let's Get Kraken mug. Oh, wow. Uh, let me, hang on, work out. There you go. That's the non-blur thing. Uh, I was going to say, I needed to see it unblurred to make sure that they had the apostrophe in there. I think that is backwards, unfortunately. It says, no, it says refuse, refuse to, to think. think. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 it is the right. Sorry, it's, oh, my God, this blur filter is up. I'm going to get the picture up. I'm not going to hold this up. Uh, I'm going to get the picture in the background. Uh, yeah, so... This, uh, you might have seen it online before. I don't know if it's a famous mug, but it's definitely quite a um, aesthetically noteworthy mug. There's a picture there blocking my face, so you're welcome. Uh, so, yeah, if I had to rank this, uh, I think aesthetics-wise, I think this is a five. Uh, because not only yeah. do you have an embossed tentacle on the front, just below Let's Get Kraken, obviously a play on the word Let's Get... Uh, Free is let's get cracking and kraken, but also the fact that the um the what what is there an official word for the, well it's just a handle I suppose there's no yeah um is the handle is also a tentacle uh which is very cool and the fact everything's that, better with tentacles everything's Ooh. better with tentacles uh but yeah I think that you know really like it it's it nicely uh you know sort of incorporates itself into it. Now, utility, going to be maybe controversial here. I'm going to give it, like, maybe a three, just because okay. it's fucking huge. It this big. is mm. giant. It's a big boy. Yes. Now, I do like really huge mugs. The only downside is, obviously, this is not my go-to for, say, a daily coffee or a tea or something, just because... I'd either have to put essentially two coffees worth into this, or two teas, or something. Now, I always find if you're having a big mug, it's better for it to be kind of rounded, like the giraffe one I've shown. But yours is just straight up. I don't think that's the best way, because I don't think the flavour of whatever drink you're going to get is going to disperse itself well to the top. You're going to get all the flavour at the bottom, and the top is just going to be hot water. Hmm. It's uh, th- So this I find I've had uh, kind of like, I mean, it's not really what you'd go for a mug for. I've had some like pop in it before, like Pepsi or lemonade. That kind of works. Um, and sentimentality, I'm hovering between a three and a four because... 3.5. Yeah, if we're allowing 0.5s, I'll go for 3.5. Um, simply because this uh, was bought for me actually by... A person on this very call. No? Okay, Dan, never mind. Right. No, I know, I know, it was me. I remember. Um, uh, it's, so I this... think the, the I think the reason I bore is we played a lot of um Sea of Thieves. Well, sea of Thieves and uh, you were the reliable steersman. Yes. And, I, uh, steersman. and also 
kind of looks like when you hold it up that the tentacles almost make a heart. Like, oh, yeah, that's, that's like yeah. almost a heart. Just about. Yeah. Just about. It's cute. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh... But yeah, it's when we. Um... Because we played a lot of it during the summer of 2020, obviously, when everything was locked down and we kind of spent most of our lives online. Um, yeah, it just kind of gives me memories of those, you know, sort of evenings we'd spend several hours uh, going from island to island. And, you know, and I think this might be the first mug I ever had after I moved out on my own. So it kind Aww. of... You know, it, it 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 intersected with a lot of parts of life that's like, oh yeah, that was a memorable bit, and so was that. So, you know, so in a way, I have Dan to thank for this, but in a way, I don't. Anyway, Dan, it's your number two now. What is your choice? My number two um, is um, none other than this uh, Dino mug, and uh, which I got from this uh, cafe called Hard Lines, and they do. Oh. Really, really, really good stuff. It actually says there, um, if you if you can see, um, really, really good stuff. Yeah, I'll, 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 don't worry, I'm pulling, up, a, the, yeah, I'm pulling up the image uh, for people to see. So you can see oh. it on the screen there. I mean, what can I say? It's a dino mug and sort of, you know, aesthetically, I'm probably going to give her a three. And the reason being, it is... Like it is more, it is very plain. Um, you know, it's just white. Um, very minimalist. Mug, nothing. Very minimalist. And you got the the lo- logo of the the cafe. Um, I do like the tagline. Really, really, really good stuff. It's like they're trying to make up an idea. Oh, what should we say? Uh, it's really, really, really good stuff, I guess. And then they're like, okay, we'll go with it, wherever. But. Uh, yeah, I think it's very minimalist, and I'm going to give her a three for that. Utility-wise, however, straight up a five. I mean, it is stunning. I mean, it's uh, it's you can grab it. It's it's got it's got a bit of weight to it, um, but it's not too bulky either. It's mm-hmm. also kind of curved. Um, yes, I did. So, uh-huh. which is very good. That and. Um, yeah, I've had many, many great cups of coffee in this uh, Dino mug. And, uh, uh, but uh, sentimentality, I, I mean, it doesn't really have that much value. But I think, for, I think I'll give it a four, really, because I think Hardlines is a very good um, um, cafe uh, business. And I think when I first had it, I was like, yo, this is really good coffee. So, uh, oh, hang on. Sorry, so, so your sentimentality is kind of low, where it's a four out of five. Like well, no, no, top. it's it's not as it's yeah. I wouldn't say it was like the seventies mug because I gave that a five, and this one is a step down. But the it's coffee still very uh, sentimental to you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. Maybe okay. Maybe I'll give it a three. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird it that you were like, ah, yeah, this is well, like pretty low, pretty low, pretty low four. I'll say it's low. <laughs> It's like saying, Low. like, honestly, this game wasn't that great. Eight out of ten. I'm like IGN, basically. <laughs> it's something for everyone. Okay. Um, yeah. In that case, yeah, I'll drop it down to a three, because um, it's not that sentimental. But it is very good um, utility-wise, so. Well, there you go. Right, Tim, on to you. What is number two for you? My number two mug is this... Very sad quagsire in the rain mug. <laughs> now he looks especially sad. There is a story behind this. So my ex got it for me, and apparently, obviously, it's from uh, it's a photo taken on Pokemon Snap, I think. But he yes. told me the story of why he got it for me, and I think it's to do with some streamer that I don't know. So I appreciate the mug, and I love quagsire, but I think there's a, some kind of like background behind it that I am just completely not privy to. <laughs> On the one hand, that kind of ruins it, but on the other hand, it gives it like an air of mystery. <laughs> like, and there could be several stories about this that I'm just not aware of. If anybody, it is, if anybody watching this happens to know what this what, is, what streamer what, is, I yeah. don't even know who it could be. Anyone? Yeah. So let, let, let us know in the comment because you you will help Tim here. You will absolutely. Actually, uh... I will go and read the comments in terms of it. That effectively. 
that is a beautiful shot. It is. That, that this is an emo quagsire. So I'm going to go for a four on aesthetics. In terms of utility, it's kind of a very basic mug. Mm. So I'm going to go with three because it does the job. It's there's no fault to it, but usually I do find myself maybe wanting a little bit more. I'm a big mug kind of guy, as discussed. So solid three on the utility. Sentimentality, I'm going to go with four. Obviously, it was given to me by someone else, so nice memories there. But I'm docking the point because I don't know what she's going <laughs> So I'm not willing to give it a full five. Yeah. So it's it's being stuck on four. But yeah, I think for a total of 11 points, hmm. yeah, I think that's solid. It's a solid mug. It does the job. No complaints. That's and a... Quagsite is very cute. Yes. Uh, I also played New Pokemon Snap last year, and it was... Very good. Uh, it was. Big I enjoyed. Right, well, I guess it's time for number one. And like Reveal a real professional, yourself. I'm loading the image up in the background. Oh, no, it's fucking hell. Jesus Christ, I'm not a professional at all. Okay, never mind. So, my number one is this mug. Oh, oh, oh it's so cute! Uh, so, this... <laughs> This and this is just a flex. Now I'll I'll get a picture up in the mi- in a minute. So he's got his little ghostly feet and stuff as well. Uh, so I'll drag the picture over. But so this is yes, that's right, viewers. This is a Poundland Halloween ghost mug. Uh, I don't think it was a pound. I think it was like two pound or maybe three. I can't remember. Um, but as you can tell, it is incredibly spooky. Uh, and I do apologise for having such a jump scare present in this video without any warning but hey that's uh that's the wild kind of card i am so if i to rank this aesthetics i think is a five i think 100 percent that's a five out of five out of five i give them i agree he's a doopy boy uh it's sort of it's it's got a wider bottom i quite like as well he's got little arms you know i mean he needs to handle obviously but in terms of turning, you know, something into a mug, I think they did a very good job here. If I, was and really... I know exactly what drink you drink out of that mug. Ah. I reckon you drink oolong tea. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Uh, if if I, I had time really, to leave it. if I really <laughs> had to nitpick, I kind of wish maybe they had a little cover you could put on it to kind of. And then it's basically a teapot. Come yeah, on. Mm. yeah, that is true. I mean, I, I've I've seen some sort of mugs with little covers that are meant for like biscuits or something to like warm, uh, you know. So aesthetics, utility. I'm going to give it like a two point five. He is very cute. It's not mm. a massive mug inside, and there mm. is a lip. There's a noticeable lip here, which means mm. that when you're drinking, it's not just like that. You've got to kind of tip it up that little bit extra as well and in terms of cleaning it's like a little bit annoying because you kind of you know you, you want to clean it out thoroughly occasionally mm. and uh and this is your number one well yes uh because i don't know i i think this is my favorite mug i have if if i was given one minute there's a raging fire in my house and i could only grab mugs and i could only grab three of them you know, I'd have grabbed these three, but if I only could only grab one, I'd grab this guy because he's just he's cute. Uh, sentimentality, you know, it's like a two or a three. Again, it's not it's not high point wise. I'd but... be interested to know, yeah, if the points actually correlate. Because yeah. mind you, I'm fucking sure that they do, but apparently it doesn't even matter. So numbers oh, yeah, don't no. matter. I mean... We may as well just kill ourselves. <laughs> the three categories are useful, Please don't. but Please don't. but ultimately. You know, he's... he well, Basically, yeah, if I could rank him higher than a 5 on this 5-point scale, I would. Because I, you okay. know, he's lovely. But I bought him last October, so I haven't had a lot of time to form a real strong bond. But uh, when we do the 10-year yeah. anniversary episode, looking back on our mugs, maybe, you know, maybe sentimentality will be a 5 as well. We'll have journeys together. Uh yeah, thank you for coming to my mug talk. Right, Dan, would you like to present your final mug? I shall. And in fact, it's 
my favourite, because I'm drinking there right now, is the Garfield mug. Oh. Oh, that's very good. What does that... I can't... I love morning. What? I love mornings? No, no. So, basically, it's like... There's a quote, I love mornings. Oh, I love mornings. I love mornings. And, obviously, it's funny because he doesn't love mornings. (laughs) (laughs) Morning. So, okay, um, so before I tell you my rankings, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story, because in advance of um, when Red was saying we're going to do the uh, mug talk, um, I um, basically I thought, oh, well, I kind of want to do a little bit of research on this mug, because I, I noticed um, it, because I want to know, well, how, how, old, how old is this mug? And it says it's from 1978. And so I googled it and researched it, and I found out um, that some um, merchandise from Garfield with um, the food giant, um, fast food giant uh, McDonald's, apparently contained lead in the paint. Oh yeah, oh. I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. And and I was like, I was like, going, oh god, am I am I drinking out of a mug that will give me brain tumors or whatever? But no, uh, so it turns out uh, it's only the glass ones. Yes, yeah. So I, I, I am in. There the... was some kind of like the way, the way they got the paint to stick to the glass or something contained some kind of traces of lead or something. I remember watching yeah. a video on this a while ago. That yeah, they are. There was uh, a big, huge uh, Reddit post of of some guy who had it and uh, goes into de- detail about that. So I do think anyway. you should get extra points for being the only person drinking from your mug. But I've noticed Red's got a water bottle. I'm drinking yeah. out of a glass. So I we're like doing how all, everybody is disturbing. like, yeah, <laughs> I'm the only one dedicated enough. I mean, I, I, I mean, it goes to show, um, how much I love the mug. I think, um, if I rank it, let, let me see my rankings now. Um, yeah, aesthetics, I give it a five. I mean, it's, it's you know it's it's very seventies. It's got that vintage style, um, and it's got the um, yeah. I mean, it's Garfield. Look at him. It's Garfield, and you know it's the colours are great. You know it's uh, you know you got a bit of um, uh, you know the red, and the little paint. Uh, anyway, I think it's just really well designed, and uh, you know, and there's even a banana there. I, it looks like he fell over. Uh, I fell over. Oh, why interestingly, loves... when you said about the colours, they did notice that it's like kind of got a yellow and red vibe, which is the same colours of McDonald's. And the reason they do that is because it's meant to make you hungry and thirsty. So ah. I can see why that mug is trying to, you know, get you to drink out of it, or maybe even drink soup out of it. Hmm. Or maybe or a burger out of it. Mm, is this? Is this? Is this mug got? Hours that I, I, don't, I don't even know. Maybe. I, don't I know. mean, maybe subconsciously you're looking at it, and every time you do, you want a drink. See? Maybe that's um, why. Mo- moving on. Um, uh, yeah, utility wise, I give it a five as well. Um, I think you get a good amount of um, coffee or even tea out of this. Um, and the the handle, I really like the handle as well. It's easy to grip on, and it's I just love it. I I love it. And sentimentality, give it a five. I mean, everything about perfect Garfield. Score. A it's perfect a perfect score. score. Wow, fuck me. It's a perfect score. I mean, you that know, that is strong. I mean, Garfield loves lasagna. I love lasagna. Um, I love mornings as well um and um yeah what can i say i i think it's one of the best mugs i have ever had and i say that and i hold it on to me with dear dear heart so there we go cool. cheers everyone yes. right okay well <sighs> tim it's oh i've clicked the wrong button tim it's on to you well I think there's someone in this chat who deserves a round of applause today because this is the second mug in in this whole discussion that has been gifted to me by someone here. And again, once again, it's from Dan. And this is my go to hell mug, which yes. is really backwards for everyone. Uh, um, it's this fine, I got a picture up by anyway, but oh no, no, oh, it's oh, it's oh, to let. But um yeah, this is I think the mug I've had for the longest time. Uh, most I of remember. my mugs 
our new one. Dan remembers giving it to me. That's always good. It was, it was Secret Santa, but I don't know which year. Do you I remember which it, year? I don't know. It was over at least 10 years ago, maybe. It probably was. It was. I think it was one of the very first kind of Secret Santas we did as a group. Hmm. And it has stood the test of time. I think this mug has been with me for like the last five five houses I've lived in. And it is still going strong. It is a beautiful design. It does very much reflect how I'm feeling when I drink coffee in the morning a lot of the time. Um, so it's it's just a very solid mug. Yes. If we go down into ratings, aesthetically, it's a five. Like that, there, there's there's no way around it. That is, it's beautiful. The colours work fantastic, and it says exactly what it needs to say. Utility, I'm going to give it a solid three. Like it's a very it's a good size, but usually I like a bigger mug. But this one, it, it, if you want a regular size drink, this is the one to go for. It's um, clearly sturdy. Actually, no, I might up it to a four because it's very sturdy. It survived a hell of a long time, whereas lots of mugs I've had have not survived that long. So I'm going to up that to a four on the, on the utility. Um, sentimentality, five. It's the longest mug I've had. It reminds me of a dear friend, and it's still with me, and it's still going strong. So absolutely it's a good mug and it's done a very good job oh okay hey hey nice well man we've been on a journey uh today and we've mug journey we've had we've had uh, a look at a bunch of mugs but enough about us <laughs> hey! 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 oh i've been i've been uh... waiting to say that um uh, but now my script is ending, so I've got nothing else to say. No, Wait, you didn't. You're the only one who didn't get a hat to match the colour of one of your mugs. What oh, the fuck? I'm sorry. You um, missed the memo, man. I don't have any white hats around here, or black, unfortunately. But next time, next time I will. I mean, maybe those spooky anime. Are they spooky? Those that anime hoodie. No, this is a hollow live hoodie, Dan. Oh, is there? Oh, Very sorry. spooky. I mean, it oh. is. It is a Halloween themed uh, hoodie. Oh. I'm going to give that close enough Halloween. Cool. Go Thanks, on. Dan. Anyway, thank you guys very much for joining us. Uh, it's been a fun talk toys. We're probably going to do more podcasts this year. Not necessarily talk toys. Is you know we're going to we're going to have a variety. Basically, I don't want to focus on just anything. Uh, if you're watching this last weekend, I should have put out a Draw Toys, where we draw Pokemon from memories. That was a lot of fun. Uh, check that out, or don't. It will be. It will be oh, fun. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. I can't wait to try it. We we did it a few days ago. Everybody will look forward to our uh, drawings. Yes. Well, no, they're, all, they're already you will look forward to our drawings. You, you, will. You, will have, you will have enjoyed our drawings. You yes. will enjoy our yeah. There you go. But yeah. Um, so um, stay tuned, and we might do more of these, or we might not. Who knows? I maybe don't. have we got enough more mugs, like mugs that we hate? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, tell you what. Tell you what, Dan. <laughs> A mug channel. Tell you what. You you go and do that, right? And um, you you go and do that. It's all right. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy that day, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, I I can't. Otherwise, I would. But you know. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for joining us, and thank you, you two, for joining me for the mug chat. Um, yeah, that's about it. Take care, and I'll see you guys again. Until next time, goodbye. Bye.